20 minute yoga deep stretch session. Take your practice outside if you possibly can and enjoy the sunshine, the sounds of nature, and the vitamin D. Let's begin. Put your thumb and index finger together on the knees, sitting cross-legged if possible. Lengthen your spine, tuck your chin ever so slightly, and let's close our eyes and take five deep breaths. to relax, mentally and physically preparing for your practice this morning. Try to clear your mind of clutter, focus your attention on your breath. to lean forward or back and lengthen your inhale and exhale inhale center we're going to forward fold exhale down bring your forearms to the earth allow your head neck shoulder to surrender down to gravity out the mid to upper back, the lower back. Allow those shoulders to drop away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale, walk both hands to the right side and stay there for a deep breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, walk both hands to the left side. Just as far as is comfortable for you. Feeling a nice stretch through the right side body. And inhale, center. One more breath. expander bring your hands back and together palms face the back gently draw those shoulder blades back and together opening through the front of the body for two to three breaths lengthen your inhale lengthen your exhale shoulder if you wish stay there for a full breath inhale both arms up stretch to the sky exhale right hand to the left opposite hand behind and twist as far as you comfortably can looking over the back shoulder if you wish down. Take one full breath here. Relax. Let's take it into 
your hamstrings. You can use an optional strap for your single leg stretch. Bringing one leg out, one leg in. Finding roughly the center of the strap, place it across the balls of the feet. Sitting nice and tall, draw that abdominal in, inhale. Exhale, walk the hands down the strap, lead with the chest. And at your lowest point, surrender your head, neck, shoulders down to gravity. Stay there for two to three breaths. On your next exhale, walk your hands a little bit further down the leg or the strap. And stay there for one more deep breath. As you inhale, slowly come back up and let's change legs. Opposite leg out, opposite leg in. Placing the strap across the balls of the opposite foot, sitting with a nice tall spine as you inhale. And as you exhale, start to walk those hands down the strap as far as you comfortably can. And at your lowest point, surrender your head, neck, shoulders down to gravity. Soften your jaw, relax the muscles of the face. Lengthen your inhale. Lengthen your exhale. And on your next exhale, I'd like you to walk your hands just a little bit further down the strap or down your leg. And stay there for one more breath. stance you do want your feet flexed and the toes pointing up this will keep your knees in alignment and flexing the feet supports the knees and engages the muscles that surround the knee bring both hands behind you and let's once again open through the front of the body taking the legs as wide as you comfortably can bend the knees slightly if you need to try and straighten them as much as you can two more breaths here to give that tricep a good stretch nice tall spine stay there for one to two breaths breathe as deeply as you can on your mat 
Bring your hands directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips, curl the toes. We're going to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, press both heels down to the earth. Lift the glutes up to the sky, allow the head to drop between the arms. Push the mat away with your hands. Once again, you're just taking this to where it feels good for you. taking it a little bit deeper to runner stretch. Exhale, right heel down, left heel up, and switch. Inhale one way, exhale back. One more time each way. And exhale, both heels press down, lift through the glutes, push that mat away, last breath. Inhale, come up to high plank. And then exhale, we're going to come to upward facing dog. Curl those toes. Lengthen through the crown. Stay there for one or two breaths. Allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears. And slowly, one arm at a time, coming down onto the forearms. Palms down, shoulder width apart, Sphinx pose. Drop the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen that crown. Inhale, look to the right. Stay there for a breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, look left. through the left side body and inhale center and exhale walk both hands to the left stretching through the right side body and inhale center one more breath in puppy pose. And release, come up, cross the ankles at the back and slowly roll back and down. We're going to do reclined pigeon pose once again for the hips. Cross your right ankle over the left thigh, flex the foot again to support the knee and we're gonna bring that bottom leg up. You can either hold behind the left Thigh, or if you can, clasp your hands around the left shin, flex both feet, and pull those legs in towards the body as far as you comfortably can. I don't want this to be sharp or painful, just a nice pulling sensation through that right hip. Stay there and breathe. One more breath. Keeping the legs crossed, left foot down to the ground, bring both arms out to the side, shoulder height, palms facing up, inhale, exhale, slowly let the right leg drop across the body to the left side as far as you comfortably can, and look to the right to complete the rotation. Crosses over the right thigh, flex, 
and then bring your bottom leg in toward the body, either holding behind the right thigh or clasping the hands around the right shin. Both feet are flexed and just pull that bottom leg in as far as you comfortably can. Lengthen your inhale. Lengthen your exhale. One more breath. Nice stretch for that left hip. And exhale, release the right foot down to the ground, keeping the legs crossed as they are. Arms out to the side, shoulder height, palm facing up. Inhale. Exhale, allow the left foot to drop across the body to the right as far as is comfortable for you. Look to the left. Stay there once again for two to three deep breaths, gently stretching your lumbar spine. One more breath. Engage the core, squeeze your abdominals. Inhale, bring the legs back to center. Exhale, release. And we're going to do one final pose, happy baby. So we're gonna bring both knees up and out toward the opposite armpits. Now you can hold onto the backs of the thighs here or reach to the inside of each foot and gently pull those knees up and out towards each armpit. And if you wish, you can gently rock your body side to side here massaging your spine into the mat. Come back to center, exhale, squeeze those knees in one more time. And slowly release one leg at a time out to the mat, lengthen it out. Feet are roughly hip width apart. Turn your palms up and allow the feet to relax out to the side. Close your eyes. Shavasana, relaxation pose. Lengthen your inhale. And lengthen your exhale. Sink a little bit deeper into the mat. Relax your arms. Notice how heavy they feel into your mat. On your next exhale, notice how heavy your legs feel. Just let them sink deeper and deeper to gravity. Notice how heavy the torso feels, your spine melts into the mat. Limbs are heavy and relaxed. Feel free to stay in relaxation pose as long as you possibly can today. Enjoy the sensation of relaxation, enjoy your breath. time. 